Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm junk journaling. And I'm gonna put some nature journaling into my junk journal. A few people were asking me about this, and they would like to nature journal too, but they're a little intimidated because you know they don't have a degree in environmental studies, they're not a naturalist, or they're not an artist. But they really, really would like to put some nature into their journal. So I'm gonna show you some easy ways that you can do some nature journaling in your junk journal. So come on along. I was watching the squirrel out the kitchen window on my cherry tree, eating the beautiful white blossoms. And I wanted to journal about it. And this is how simple it is to do nature journaling. You just have to see something and want to put it in your journal. So I came inside and I'm just gathering up some elements. I had saved this picture of a squirrel off of the box that a bird feeder came in. The bird feeder was supposed to be squirrel proof, but you know what, it took them all of like five minutes to get into this bird feeder. So it cost me a lot of money and was completely not worth it. So I had this picture of a squirrel from a box and then I had this little magazine, 50 Birds and Mammals of Pennsylvania, and it has nice little pictures, illustrations of mammals and birds. And I cut out the little blurb about the gray squirrel. So this is kind of cute. It tells you all about it. And you can collect like at tag sales and flea markets. You can collect children's books with animal pictures in them or old bird guides. And you can usually get these books for like 50 cents or a dollar. And it's really worth it because now you have a lot of pictures to start with. So then I had these two elements. And then I was thinking about this Christmas ribbon that I had bought. And it has these little squirrels on it. I said, you know what, that's really cute. So I took a piece of that and I put that down on the page. And I said, well, that's got a really pretty red berry on it. So I looked around for some red paper and I don't have a lot, but this is a piece of scrapbooking paper that I got from a stamping up party, maybe, I don't know, 15, 18, 20 years ago, something like that. And it had some Christmas things on it and I pulled them off, but I'm going to use this side because it's a nice deep dark red. So this red is going to be my background. And this is how I'm going to pull the page together. I'm going to put on this piece of ribbon with the little squirrels on it because I think it's cute. It looks nice with this red background. And this is wired ribbon. But you know what? I take the wires out. If I'm just going to paste it down onto a page, I figure it doesn't need the wires. So I'm saving these for another project because these just might come in handy with something else. So I'm going to save those. And then I got my little squirrel from the packaging. So he's gonna go on the page. And then I have this that I cut out from the magazine. And this is a scrap of paper left over from a different project. So I could put it there. Or I could put a little bit at an angle. So it's a little jaunty. Everything doesn't have to be all squared up. And it's fun to overlap so his little nose can be pointing right at the words there. And then I have another scrap. This is going to be um, the page that's over here, which I also cut everything up for but haven't glued down yet. And then I made this little note. April 17, 2021. Gotcha. Caught the squirrel eating the blossoms off of the cherry tree. And that's as easy as nature journaling can be. Although it should say one more thing though. It should say when, it should say where, and it should say what. 
and I have the when, the what, and I don't have the where. So let me put the where on there, and this would be side yard. So I'll just add that on there. And the where and the when are what we call the metadata, okay? The data is caught the squirrel eating the blossoms. Now I could get out my sketchbook and sketch a squirrel and do all that, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do this in junk journal style with old paper scraps and this the index card. I think this is the one that Brit Brittany sent me with her ATC the other day. I'm just gonna put that on here and I'm gonna glue all this down And then I have just a little something extra to add to this page. Okay, the glue's still wet, but I got everything stuck down. Hopefully it'll stay. And I put some things squared on the page and some things at an angle. It gives the page more movement. And also when you Think of design elements and composition. I know when you're a beginner junk journal person, you really don't have to do that. But after doing it for a while, you might want to play with the stuff before you glue it down. And putting things at an angle sort of creates more movement on your page and overlapping the elements gives it more cohesion, if that makes any sense. All right, here comes my surprise element. It says the nickname Bushy Tail refers to his fluffy tail, almost as long as his body, which lends balance in his amazing acrobatics. Grizzled gray, or more or less rusty along the back with a white belly. So what I did was I made a little template, you know, because I like to make my little templates, of the size of his tail, just about, sort of, like that. And I have this row of fur. Now I bought this at Christmas to make some gnomes. And as you can see, this is not opened yet. So I never did make gnomes. So I'm gonna open this up and use a piece to make a bushy tail for my squirrel. Because there seems to be a lot on here, let's see. Is nine feet long and I only need one little piece. Oh, this is wired. Okay. So here's, let me get this out of the way. Okay, when you cut fur, you go to the back. It's like a knit material on the back. And you take the little template. I'll put it on there. Okay, this is going to go, so you flip it over so it's going to go this way. Trace it backwards. I'm going to take a white pen because it's dark material and just do a little bit of an outline. So that's about as big as my tail needs to be. You can kind of take it and you're just going to cut the material. You don't want to cut the fur. You don't want to make the fur look like it had a haircut. put just a little bit of color on the squirrel. I did just a little bit of coloring with these Derwent Color Soft Pencils. 
And I used a gray and like a terracotta and an okra. Just gave him a little bit of color. Colored in a little bit of the branch. And then I glued down his fuzzy tail. So doing nature journaling in your junk journal can be as easy as this. One observation, the when, the where, cut up a children's book or some packaging or some ribbon or whatever you have with some images on them, glue them down and have some fun. So I hope you do some nature observation and some nature junk journaling. And if you do, give it a hashtag, nature junk journaling, and I'll be sure to check it out. So thanks for coming along, and happy nature junk journaling. Bye-bye now. Okay, while I get the book open, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this page over here because I got most of it laid out already. I plan to do a pineapple page. My sister gave me this pineapple slicer dicer contraption thing. And I bought a honey glow pineapple. And I guess these are left on the plant a little bit longer than the other ones. And it's very yellow. And apparently I picked one that was too ripe. Because when I try to use this, you slice off the end of the pineapple. You put this over the core. And then you kind of drill it in there. And then you push this down. And you get pineapple chunks, and the core stays in the middle of this, but then you push it out with this button. And the pineapple was so ripe that it kind of mushed, and all the juice ran out the bottom. It made a bit of a mess. But I took the pineapple, and I diced it up into little pieces. It was really good, so sweet and juicy. And I made some gluten-free muffins with King Arthur's gluten-free muffin mix. And I put one cup of the diced fresh pineapple in there with a half a cup of chocolate morsels and a little sprinkle of coconut and one teaspoon of vanilla and made some delicious gluten-free muffins. So I'm working on this page. I'm just going to do a quick page. I'm going to keep the directions on how to use this. I'm going to try it another day with another pineapple. And I'm just playing with elements here. I got my journaling already done. And I got a pineapple off the package that this came in. And this came off the packaging. And the directions came off the packaging. So I got packaging. I got the tag off the pineapple and some scraps of this little bit of paper here. And I got some pineapple stickers from the Dollar Tree. Now I bought these to use in something else, but I'm not gonna need all of them. And I like this black one over here because it kind of matches this black ticket here. So I just have to figure out how to place everything on here and glue it down and then glue it in the book. And I'll have another page done And I thought if I put this pineapple down here, with its tag, put the directions down there, that I can put maybe the word pineapple or the black pineapple up here in the corner. Sort of balance out the page a little bit. Maybe I don't need the word pineapple. Maybe all I need is that black pineapple right there. Maybe that's all I need. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue this down and stick it in the book. And then I'll have two pages done. The squirrel and the pineapple. Okay, now like this is too funny. I'm sitting here gluing everything down. Trying not to be too messy. It's hard when you want to start overlapping things. Which thing to glue down first. 
and stick things underneath other things. But this is my page so far. And I was looking at the stickers. And there was a pair of sunglasses. And I put them on the pineapple. I thought that was cute. And then I was looking at this. It's like a pineapple bowl with a drink in it. And I remembered a picture of me in Costa Rica, where this pineapple was grown, drinking out of a, I think this was a coconut, with a drink on it. I was down there with my environmental studies group. Oh, look at this. I got one shoe on and one shoe off. I wonder why. Who knows? Too many pineapple drinks, I guess. And I just thought it would be funny if I stick this on the page. And then maybe I could put this... Oh, it's a little big for there, huh? <laughs> but I think this is funny. I'm going to put this on the page because this is me in Costa Rica where this pineapple came from. So I'm going to cut this up. Hold on. Okay, you didn't think it was going to be as easy as just gluing some things down on the paper, right? If you know me, you know me that's not going to happen. So it's changed a little bit, not a lot, but I did put the black pineapple. I have my journaling. I added some more bits from the pineapple tag up in the corner here. And another tag from the pineapple honey glow. And then I put the picture of me down in Costa Rica. And while we were in Costa Rica, we did drive through part of the Del Monte fruit farm while we were down there. We're down there doing a study in the uh, primary rainforest, but we did travel around the country a little bit. And there I am drinking from a coconut. And it must have been really good because I've kicked off one shoe for some reason. Don't remember it. After that drink, you don't remember anything. And then over here it says how to use. And I put the little pineapple drink right there. Had the little sunglasses on the pineapple. And there is my very fun pineapple page. And all I have to do is to stick it in the book, and I'll be right back. Well, thanks for hanging around to watch my fun bonus pineapple page. And I hope you enjoyed the little junk nature journaling page with a squirrel with a fluffy tail. So thanks for coming along today. And happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now. Okay, third and final ending. I promise I will end this video. But I was trying to clean up a little bit, put some things away. And I found this little Del Monte. Oops. this little red Del Monte and I wanted to put it on that pineapple and so I stuck that there and then I was just going to close the book and I said hmm empty space and what does a squirrel need? A squirrel needs some acorns. I have these dies that has a little acorn in it and I haven't used it yet. I want to use my dies more and some of them I haven't used yet at all. But there's an acorn. I thought maybe I wouldn't be using that till the fall. But I was like, ah, perfect. So I'm going to glue those down. It just never ends with me. It just goes on and on and on and on and on, doesn't it? Every little detail. Every little detail. Okay, two little acorns in the corner, and now I'm done. I promise. So for the third time, happy junk journaling, and thanks for coming along, and for real, bye-bye now. <laughs>